Hi. In the previous tutorials, we learned several ways of how to make a pretty good sounding reverb. Before we get to more advanced algorithms, we need to take care of a few essential things that will tremendously improve our reverbs and make them more convincing and realistic. First, the dampening. In our physical world, the sound waves are constantly being altered. Just traveling through the air is taking away high frequencies. And whenever the sound reflects from a wall of any kind, some spectrum loss is to be expected as well. And that's what we call dampening. While the physical world may produce infinitely complex filtering, there's no computing power needed to do that ourselves. And we can simplify the situation quite a bit. In general, highest and lowest frequencies are getting lost the most. So we can simulate it by using a low shelf and low cut and high shelf and high cut filters. In M Turbo Reverb, we have the module FL for low frequency dampening and the FH for high frequency dampening. Both are associated with the dampening panels, so they're easy to control from the user's point of view. You can use these to process the output, like this for example. But that doesn't really do much, does it? That's because the actual magic happens when you put it in the feedback path, so that every reflection gets filtered again and again, like this. Our reverb is now way more realistic and the filtering even helps with the resonances. That brings us to the next important task, which separates simple convolution reverbs from powerful algorithmic ones, modulation. Reflections from a comb filter or all-pass diffuser are exact copies of the original signal. And when a signal gets mixed with its delayed copies, resonances are formed. The goal is to make every reflection slightly different so they don't clash so much which in effect make the resonances less prominent. Dampening is a nice way to do that, and in a way, it's pretty much the same as treating a room using sound absorption panels. M Turbo Reverb also lets you use a randomized all-pass filter, FA, which by the way, isn't the same as the all-pass diffuser. This one only alters the phase of the signal. So let's try this. To improve things even more, we can use a modulated all-pass filter. Note that this one requires much more CPU processing. Let's try. Finally, there's module F, which can be just about any classic filter you use in equalizers, for example. So let's try the following algorithm. Be careful here though. These filters are naturally resonant and you know what happens when a resonant module gets into a feedback path. Infinite feedback. So have the safety limiter always enabled. There are more ways to modulate a signal than using filtering however. And the most classic one is a vibrato, V. It requires quite a lot of CPU, but usually works great. Let's try. Note that overusing vibrato may produce some quite honky tonky stuff. And finally, we're going to introduce something amazing polymorphic algorithms, which are created using module B, which is a bypass. Yes, that's right, a simple bypass. Depending on the seed, it either processes the modules you put into it or not. While that may seem like a trivial thing, it opens up a new world of possibilities. Consider this algorithm.
It's still our trivial reverb made from parallel comb filters, but each of the combs is potentially very different. In the feedback paths, one may have a diffuser, another a dampening filter, another a vibrato, another may have all of these, or nothing at all. Besides the creator potential, it can also help you save CPU by using consuming modulations only in some modules. And soon we'll finally get serious. Thanks for watching.